Tonight, we're getting answers, meanwhile, from the American Red Cross about the confusion and the complaints after Harvey. Channel 2 investigator Bill Spencer traveled all the way to Washington, D.C. to track down organization leaders. He's live now with what they're saying about relief funds. Bill? Bill and Dominique, it's been a tough week for the American Red Cross. On Monday, they launched a new program that was supposed to provide $400 in immediate relief to victims of Hurricane Harvey. But right after launching the program, it suddenly crashed. And four days later, it is still down with no, uh, no idea when the thing will be brought back up. And that is a lot of people asking questions about the American Red Cross. Tonight, tens of thousands of Hurricane Harvey victims are tearing up the very homes they love, having lost everything. They need help to rebuild their lives. What we're going to do is clean up. Pick up whatever and start all over again. This is the only thing that we can do. Many are now depending on the American Red Cross for help, but some now feel the $300 million taken in by the Red Cross for victims of Harvey isn't being spent on them. A lot of people in Houston are asking, where is the Red Cross putting this money? Uh, tell me, where is this money going right now? Well, I'm sure you have seen photos of the many, many shelters that we've opened and that we've staffed. Tonight, the Red Cross says it has provided 364,000 overnight shelter stays following the hurricane, served 1.7 million complete meals and snacks, distributed 383,000 relief items like deodorant, toothbrushes, and diapers, and brought more than 3,200 disaster workers to Texas. <laughs> But in the wake of this disaster, many Houstonians have questioned the salaries that some high-level Red Cross officials make. Gail McGovern, Red Cross president and CEO, earned an annual salary in 2015 of more than $500,000. Brian Roa, the chief financial officer, earned $427,809 the same year. And several weeks ago, we at KPRC teamed up with the Red Cross to raise millions of dollars for flood victims. But when we traveled to Red Cross headquarters, seeking a brief 10-minute interview with McGovern, we were told that was not possible. Why can we not talk directly with the CEO, Gail McGovern, about what is going on with the Red Cross during this crisis? Well, Gail has been to uh, Houston and to Texas twice since the storm began. We're right now managing another big disaster, as you know, in Florida. She's on travel. So the answer to getting an interview with her today was no. We asked about talking with her tomorrow. We were told no. She will be traveling as well. We were told we can finally speak to the CEO sometime in the days to come. We'll see if that happens. Reporting live in Washington, D.C., Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Nice job, Bill. Thank you.